so this is my setup I have my um, my whiteboard with my marker and of course I got my headset and my planner here and then I have um, my props I have the letters and some pictures and I have a book here for pig um, yeah and then just some other props apple yeah oh, and that's my other prop too <laughs> And then up here on my chart, I got some more um, pictures to go along with the letter P. Because I'll be teaching the letter P. So, I have everything prepped for this next interview. Um, I have plenty of props, as y'all just saw. Um, and I've actually been practicing. So, I went through and practiced um, the lesson. And I used a timer to time myself, making sure that I was getting through the lesson at the appropriate time. So, um, I, I feel really <laughs> um, much more prepared this time. I think before I was just trying to wing it because I felt like, hey, I'm a teacher, I got this. But I really needed to like really, you know, learn the techniques and practice. So, I feel a whole lot, you know better about the interview this time um i feel more ready than i have before um which that's a good thing um so i actually you know took the feedback that i got and really really worked on it instead of just trying to remember the feedback like okay i gotta make sure i remember to do this next time i actually really worked on it so um, the interview is going to start in a few minutes, so I'm going to finish getting things ready and get started. And I'll let you let you guys know how <sighs> how it goes. Hey y'all! So um, the interview the interview went um, pretty good. Um, I finished the lesson. I actually felt proud of myself because I actually I did a really good job um I had a few a few mess ups but they weren't like bad mess ups they were like you know pretty much things that I would just have to you know really learn and get used to on the job so um but for the most part I did really good and I'm proud of myself I'm glad that I finally like you know got out of my whole overly confident self and actually took the feedback and actually worked on it and actually practiced and um instead of just taking the feedback like okay yeah I gotta remember to do this like I said earlier um so yeah so the the interview it went pretty good and I, I got even more you know pretty good uh feedback um for things to continue to work on um so, I'm just going to go ahead and say that um, I got an email um, maybe about 20 minutes afterwards, and I passed the interview. <laughs> so, I passed the interview. So, now I move on to the, the paperwork part. So, signing the contract and... Just, you know, filling out all, you know, the forms and all that stuff, tax stuff, and setting up my, um, my teacher profile. So, I'm so excited, y'all. I have a work-from-home job. I am so excited. So, it took me basically <laughs> three tries. The first try, I went in not knowing what I was doing at all all and just failed miserably um <laughs> second time I, I went in like oh yeah I got this I got this I got this and then going to the interview like oh man I don't got this <laughs> I don't got this no. <laughs> and just taking the feedback and just trying to remember the feedback so this time around I was like okay I know what to expect. I know what they're looking for. 
so when I I did the um the first interview which was I just did the recording and then the second interview is where I was actually interacting with someone and then they gave me feedback and I felt like that time I did a terrible job um because I was still flowing in that whole overly confident and then going there and like no honey you don't know what you're doing you're not ready you didn't prepare for this and so I took the feedback and I, I wrote, I you know, wrote some notes on what it was exactly that I needed to work on, and um, and went and you know, looked at the um, the information that they sent me to help, because they they send you information to help you do a good job. So I actually took that, took notes, and I actually like practice sat down and just went through the lesson over and over again as if I was actually teaching the student and um, used the timer so I can keep up with the time and made sure that I was doing everything properly and making sure I was getting familiar with each of the um, the slides um, so that way when I went in for the interview I already knew what it was that I needed to do for each slide so that really paid off so I'm, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm like goofy excited, like oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, y'all. I am. I'm excited. So my plan is to um finish. <laughs> so my plan is to finish um the school year out, of course. And um, and then start, you know, really picking up more hours um, over the summer. So, yeah. I'm going to be home with my babies. That is so cool, y'all. Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> Hey y'all, I'm up early in the morning, um, I'm basically going through and studying the lessons that I have to do. Um, I have a class booked tomorrow, I've taught one class so far, um, I have my second, my second class that I'll be teaching will be tomorrow at um, 7.30 in the morning. And then I have, today is Wednesday, so tomorrow, Thursday, I have a class at 7.30. <clears throat> I have another class booked on Friday at 7, and then I have another class booked on Monday at 7. So, yeah, I was a little concerned at first, and I'm like, okay, I wonder how long it's actually going to take before I start picking up um, students. And it's, it's starting to um, pick up a little bit. Um, I've been getting some ideas from other teachers on YouTube also um, of some ideas um, of how to pick up more students. So um, I'll be working on that too. Plus I got like a million other ideas um, for working at home and being able to set my own hours because that is what I'm loving. Um, being able to set my own hours because in that way we can still like work around each other's schedule with um, the kids or whatnot and I don't have to worry about working and got a kid in the background screaming or something because that's what I that's what I've been like so nervous about so yeah it's going good. I'm I'm excited. So I'm working on that. So I've been getting in the habit of going ahead and getting up early in the morning. Um, well, Angelo has um, the boys. Even I haven't had, of course, that many bookings. But I've been working. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sitting here at the desk in my office. Got my hot chocolate. I don't even know if it's got caffeine in it or enough caffeine to give me my my boost that I need this morning. We shall see.